Happy Monday. You might remember a couple of weeks ago I was talking about people who pass me when I'm driving and I have to stop to watch them run up there and stop and cut into the traffic. You remember it was that, that kind of thing. This week I want to talk about parking because it's just been crazy, especially summertime. You know we our offices here in Belmont Shore, but it happens in my neighborhood in North Long Beach too people trying to save parking spaces in front of their houses. It's getting crazy. I mean, people are putting all sorts of crazy things out in the middle of the street so somebody doesn't park while they're gone away so they can have a parking space right in front of their house when they get home. Well, I hate to tell you this, people, but those streets are public streets. When you bought your house, you didn't buy that parking space, sure. I like to park in front of my house too, and I do whenever I can, whenever there's a space available. If I have to park a couple spaces away, that's what I do too. But I don't put a lawn chair in front of my house so somebody can't park there. I don't put an orange cone there. I don't put buckets with boards there, and I sure don't put little radial controlled trucks there. I've seen all of those things. That's craziness. Now, I know Long Beach is a beach city. We're a parking impacted city. I understand that. And I also understand the kind of feeling that you have the right to park in front of your house. But if you're going to be gone for eight hours, it isn't right to stop other people from parking there. If you have to go away from your house and you want to have a parking space when you get back, I strongly suggest that you don't put a bucket in front of your house, at least if I'm going to be around, because I have a way of kicking the bucket, if you know what I mean. What do you think? Give me a comment. Thanks. That's it for this week.